hey 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 my wonderful family how you are doing so guys today's video is actually very very interesting today's video is is actually very today's video is actually very very interesting we'll be talking about blood covenant you know you know how to separate yourself from a blood covenant for those of you that it's in a blood covenant now what is blood covenant blood covenant is when two people come together to take an oath with a blood do you know that blood is actually very powerful why is it that blood covenant is 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 one of the hardest covenant to break why is it that you see that people that is into a blood covenant they find it very difficult to leave themselves now i want to know like why do people actually go into blood covenant what are you looking for what are you seeking for what do you want? Why are you going into blood covenant? I I, I received a message this morning concerning um, this blood covenant of a thing. So, so I actually wanted to give the remedy here on WhatsApp, but I decided to bring it here on on YouTube so that people that are inside it could as well benefit from it. Please, if you are into blood covenant or probably if you are planning to it is not something that is it, it it is good it is not something that is worth it blood covenant is not worth it at all if someone does not trust you and want to go into blood covenant with you please refuse if 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 you don't trust me if you don't trust me then if you don't trust me then i don't know why you are keeping a relationship whereby you don't trust someone and you 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 you, you want that assurance and that the only assurance that you can you can you can derive in all the things that you want like the whole the whole assurance that you have been looking for in this whole world you do not see anything apart from a blood covenant do you know do you think blood covenant is just to exchange blood you leak blood you exchange blood a blood covenant is more than that once you're into a blood covenant there's a spirit that is a witness to whatever you guys are doing that spirit will always haunt you till you die except you break loose from it if you want to leave yourself okay now imagine you you did a blood covenant due to like all this useful exuberance like you you love your boyfriend for those of you that are shouting boyfriend you love your boyfriend you love your boyfriend okay he's your boyfriend you love him the boyfriend loves you and you guys don't want to leave each other and the best best idea that could come to your mind is to do a blood covenant ah please if you're into a blood covenant please do this and for those of you that is planning to please i beg in god's name it is not worth it anybody that wants you to do blood covenant to prove love tell him to be going if he's a woman tell her to be going if he's a lady let her be going if he's a man bye bye be going you don't need it you do not need a blood covenant blood covenant is is deeper than you can think it's deeper than you can think there's more to a blood covenant once that spirit is present once there's a change of blood your 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 the two bodies are already connected it's just like when bible tells you that you become one it's going to blood it's mixed together you are mixed both physically and spiritually you and that person you and the person doing the covenant you guys are already like this it's, it's hard for you to be separated especially when it's backed up with a spirit there's no blood covenant that it's not backed up with a spirit because once you open your mouth and you confess there's spirit everywhere even bad spirits are everywhere looking for that kind of opportunity and you you want to open and you you want to make yourself available for that kind of for that kind of demonic act please this is from blood covenant you do not need it to prove the love for anybody if anybody does if someone loves you let the person trust you if the person does not trust you let the person carry his love and be going do not need the love don't go and put your hand in something that is actually very hard for you to come out don't put your hand in something that you, you you see a lot of people after that blood covenant maybe the man started misbehaving or the lady starts mis misbehaving and they really want to leave each other they can't because of that that thing that they've actually bind them together you see them they are no more longer at peace with each other they want to leave but they can't leave but that 
spirit, that same spirit that witness that oath will keep tormenting two of you till you guys be together, either in sickness or either in health. Even married people, I do not encourage, um, I do not encourage blood covenant. Don't do blood covenant with anybody. Do not do any blood covenant with anybody. You are, if the person does not trust you, let him carry his love and go. If the person does not like you, let the person carry his love and go. If that is the only situation that will make you prove love, tell him to go. I don't know why people always put their hand inside covenant. Blood covenant is just like do or die affair. Do or die. You must do it or you die. It's not something that you can just do and tomorrow you come out of it. If you do it before you come out of it, it's hard. It is very, very hard. So for those of you that is planning to join, please do not enter. It is very, very, it is risky. It is a risky game. It is it's risky to your future. It is risky to your to to in fact it's risky to everything that you put your hand inside because it is not an assurance. It is not the only way for you to prove your love to a man. It's not the only way for you to prove your love to a woman. So for the person that actually came to me with this kind of um, um, with this kind of problem, with this kind of situation, what you need. What you need, like I said, for the benefit of everybody here, what you need is a salmon fish. Once you get it, remove the collets. Or, or let me just say the long bone in the middle. The long bone in the middle. Just remove it. In fact, uh, get as many salmon fish that you can get. If it's many, get it. Get much because you will be needing it. If it's many, get much because you actually need it in this kind of uh, situation. You need that particular salmon fish. So once you've gotten it, you make sure you dry it. Dry it to be dry. You know when something is dry? Dry it thoroughly. Let it be dried. Once you dry it, then you crush it into a powder. You crush it. You make sure you blend it like into a powder. Now, what you will do with this salmon fish powder is that once you reach in the night when you want to sleep, get a fire, then pour some salmon fish inside that fire. Let it be burning. And then you sleep in the room that it, it, it is burning. You make sure you make sure you are the only person that sleeps in that room till the following morning. Sleeps only you in that particular room. Light a fire, pour that salmon fish powder inside it. Leave the smoke. Stay inside and sleep till the following morning. Now, do you know what this is actually going to do? The aroma that is coming out from that salmon fish on fire, that the smoke coming from that salmon fish is going to disarm, it's going to disarm the spirit that is behind that blood covenant. It's going to render that spirit powerless in order not to torment you for life. It's going to render that spirit powerless. Do you get me? Pour your salmon fish powder inside your burning fire. Leave it in your room and sleep off. What this particular aroma is going to do to the, 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 the spirit is going to disarm it. It's going to render it powerless for you to be free again. For you to be once, like you say, for you to, for, the, for, that, for that covenant to be broken. That is what you need. You need the spirit to be disarmed before everything can be broken. If the spirit is not disarmed, my dear, you are not going anywhere. You are tied there forever and ever. So what you need is for the spirit to be disarmed. And that is exactly what will happen once you do this. The spirit will be disarmed. You will be once free. Just make sure you do that every night that you want to sleep. Continue to be doing that. Once you want to sleep, you just light it, sleep off. You will, you will see as time goes on, you start getting yourself. You, you, will, you will notice that you are no longer connecting with that person that you have blood covenant with. You will notice yourself that you are, not, you are no longer coming close to that kind of person. Because you know one thing about this blood covenant. As time goes on, maybe you once love the person. As time goes on, you see yourself that you do not even like the person again. That's why I used the word youth first in the beginning of the video. You see some people, they want to travel up, okay, they've seen somebody that's even better than the person. You're like, I cannot continue with this kind of person. And you can't break the oath because you have already sworn that, ah, this person is my life. Oh, because that blood covenant is even more than this person is my life. That blood covenant is deeper, is deeper and stronger than, than, than you can think, that you can imagine. It's strong. 
this is the only way that can disarm that spirit for it to be free once again so this will disarm the spirit and nullify every evil effect that might be taking on taking place within you this will nullify any evil thing that have taken place already during the blood covenant and also disarm that evil evil spirit that is that has already stamped and say okay yes this two it's two of them it's going to disarm that spirit thereby giving you freedom so guys if you have if you've actually watched me to this extent i want to appreciate you thanks for watching me i love you and i appreciate you so guys um if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe because we've actually come to the end of today's video please hope we've learned something and if, and if you have anything more to contribute please you are free to do that you can make your complaint you can drop your comment you can drop your questions under the comment section and i will reply as soon as possible so guys please subscribe so that you can join this wonderful family and and all right guys i'll see you in my next video bye please remain blessed remain blessed